So this morning you're trying to help an entire community, dude. Definitely. It's a passionate group of people who for years have been trying to get a traffic signal at an intersection in Rabin County near their elementary school. Rabin County Elementary draped in vivid fall foliage. The only colors missing, according to State Senator Jim Butterworth, are red, yellow, and green, as in a traffic signal. The community is, is basically getting together and trying to show, as you can tell, we need a red light here. Highway 441 at East Boggs Mountain Road is a busy interchange, right down the road from school. And it just gets worse. This is as easy as it's going to be for the next 25 or 30 minutes. Community leaders say this isn't a new issue. Claim they've spent years pleading their case to the Georgia DOT. Been trying for a long time to get this red light. And yeah. Don't seem to be able to. Concerned parent Caroline White renewed the charge about a year ago after she witnessed a scary moment. And I was taking a left-hand turn to pick up my kids, and one of the deputies almost got struck from behind. Did it ever get a little nerve-wracking out here? At times, it does. Yeah. So we realize a traffic light yeah, cost a certain amount of money to put up, but what is a life worth? So after years of failed attempts, it was time to call in the big guns. Uh, make that the little guns. The Raven County Lego League Techno Dudes. You guys are suiting up there? The Dudes decided to conduct their own traffic study with the help of volunteers and present the results to GDOT. You're counting the numbers entering and leaving the access road at East Boggs Mountain. What grade are you in? <laughs> Don't I wish. <laughs> How many cars you got there? A bunch? 200 and let's see. Yeah. A bunch. We're counting the number of cars that leave Boggs Mountain. Okay. They're really concerned about coming to and from school, and they want to see a solution. You want a traffic signal? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll see what we can do for you, all right? All right. Awesome. Okay. All right. I love the vest, guys. I love the vests. It's a good look. <laughs> Thanks. They're into traffic. They call themselves dudes, and they wear vests. How much do I love these guys? All right. Joining us now live in the Information Center is Erica Fatima, Deputy Press Secretary for the Georgia DOT. Erica, first off, thanks for being here. Secondly, what can we do to help these people? Well, John, first let me start by saying we laud this community for making science live um, with these students. I dare say we're looking at our next set of uh, engineers. And so at GDOT, we are really excited about their taking on the opportunity to actually do traffic counts. Having said that, as with any good science project, you know there's a hypothesis. And then you have to test that hypothesis. And the data at this intersection just does not warrant traffic signals. So unfortunately, um, there will be the traffic signal is not warranted here and uh, what we do encourage is that the students continue to work with their community and local officials to see if there's some other um, options that can be available to them at this time. Erica, talk about that. What do you mean it's not warranted there? Can you explain that to me, please? Sure. What we do is we do a, a very exhaustive um, research cons uh, with the data and traffic uh, analysis there. And we do that to capture the entire traffic over certain periods of time. And what we've discovered is that it just does not warrant, the data just does not support the desire for a traffic signal there. And John, as you know, you get many of commuter uh, solicitations for traffic signals and things of that nature and the department receives thousands of these requests every year and so to keep from over prescribing uh, traffic signals we actually follow a very a federally mandated uh, exhaustive research uh, process to make sure that uh, we we um, prescribe only traffic signals where the data is actually warranted and this just didn't su uh, support the data there so what you're saying is this is uh, this is not something that you guys can determine case by case you're saying this is a federally mandated type thing that you need data in order to support whether a signal goes up is that yes or no absolutely that is absolutely correct and so what we try to do is continue to follow that process and um, and, and, and as the students even saw that their data supported that there was actually an increase in traffic. However, if you capture the entire uh, intersection, it doesn't warrant the traffic signal there. Erica, so, the, Erica, the, yes. the Raven County Sheriff told me that in two other Georgia counties, uh, they've had fatalities with deputies who are directing traffic in similar situations. Is it going to take a fatality 
in order to get something done, what can be done to help these people? What can we, be done? Well, GDOT has submitted so, several strong recommendations to the county, and again, we ask that the students and uh, the parents and the, the administration continue to work with their county and local officials uh, to look at some of the recommendations that we've suggested. Uh, we Eric are Brief. certainly, we're all about safety, John, and we're all about maintaining lives. And so again, that's why we follow processes that have worked throughout the nation. And, and again, this traffic signal just doesn't warrant that with the data that has come in, it just doesn't warrant a signal here. Very briefly, because we're yes, almost sir. out of time, can you tell me what some of those recommendations are, please? Well, we've submitted several recommendations to the county and they do have that information and without going into a lot of details because some of them are cost uh, very cost of they, they're going to cost a lot of money um, and then some of the other ones uh, the county has an opportunity to look at those details and our recommendations and so uh, they have that information and hopefully they'll follow through with some of those all right well thank you for joining Sarah. unfortunately what i'm hearing you say and what i'm hearing you say is there are no simple fixes in this yeah. one it's going to take time it's going to take money that's right so. not all right. Well, we appreciate her coming in. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much.